This is the most hyped I've been for a puzzle game ever. Welcome to the full release of Islands of Insight. I remember playing this demo like six months ago, absolutely loving it, pure bliss, and I can't believe the full game is out already. And of course, thank you to Behavior Interactive and Lunark Studios for sponsoring the video. If you want to play it, check out the link in the description and the pinned comment. This game single-handedly brought me back from my break. It is the biggest puzzle game ever made. I mean, obviously, look at this world, and this isn't even like the half of it. What they did was get 20 world-class puzzle designers and over time make over 10,000 handcrafted puzzles of varying types. On this world map, you can see a bunch of different markers. Some of them are quests, some of them are like enclaves. Quests and enclaves means that in this area, every single puzzle is positioning and what the puzzle is, is predetermined. But in addition to that, this game is almost kind of MMO styled where there's puzzles, they'll just appear around the map. The puzzles are still handcrafted, but whether or not they appear at this spot at this time is either random or cyclical, I'm not sure. You got the dungeons and you got the random mobs and they're more engaging than MMOs because instead of just clicking on an enemy, you're solving a puzzle. Uh, enough talking, how about I solve some puzzles, huh? Check this out. You got wings. <laughs> This game has the coolest move of any puzzle game I've seen. I'm gonna check out this quest marker here and see actually what kind of puzzle this has for me. I'm also in the second area, and I wanted to go here first because there's a new type of puzzle, rolling block puzzle. This game has like 24 different types of puzzles, and just one of them is logic grids, which are my favorites, and that has like a dozen subset types of puzzles. But I'm- whoa, I bounced! <laughs> what is this? How do you do this? Okay. All right, so you enter here. I am the block soar. I imagine I have to get it standing on the golden area. Yeah, I would imagine so. Okay, so let me try standing like this, going over, then standing. All right. The tall block soar. Rolling block. And it has a lot of variants. I mean, this one's already smaller. Oh, yeah, by the way, there's a puzzle mastery. I leveled the hell up. Be proud of me. I solved the tough puzzles. And this is reducing me to it. I actually do like this type of puzzle. I got some goals in the corner. Uh, learn about rolling blocks. Solve some other puzzles in this area. Wait, is it solve one at a time or? How do I swap? Oh, you just click. Okay, so you have to have solved both. All right, that's new. Yeah, I imagine there actually be some puzzles where you have to kind of switch between the blocks because they physically block each other, no pun intended. Okay, we're back to shorter blocks now. And actually, <laughs> these do physically block each other. Speak of the devil, right? Um, so I can stand it up here, stand it over here, almost passing each other. And this little mini island, I'm sure there's a lot of other puzzles hidden around here, but uh, what's, the, what's up with this? Please, ancient one, do not ask this of me. The decision before us weighs heavily on all who bear it, but you will not make this decision alone. What does it mean? I guess there's actually like all the lore is categorized, I think just kind of saved for later. So if I want to, I can revisit it and try to piece together the story that way. Might be helpful, but for now I'm puzzle solving. And all this puzzle that I've been solving has actually gotten me some XP. And what this XP can do is get me various upgrades. Usually it's just for movement, but there's also an upgrade that lets me speed up the rolling block. So yes, I'm going to get that. So how about this, huh? How do I win? Oh, oh, it's a different type of puzzle. Is this the, is the idea like I have to make every one of these disappear like yeah yeah go on every single square oh a different goal okay i like that i should actually be holding it down though get that faster speed so if i roll it over here ooh, that is fast i've already trapped myself well done tyler excellent how about uh this instead huh much better Ooh, the armillary rings. Ooh, I haven't seen these in a while. You gotta stand in a spot that you lets you click through all the golden rings without clicking through the black ring. And it looks like it's right here. Oh, come on. Oh no, I'm missing actually a couple. Oh, on, wait, wait, wait. What, maybe it's easier if I stand here? Oh, come on. Yes! Sneaky, sneaky. Can't just do it from the ground. What about this? Maybe this means I have to come down? Actually, here works. Oh, it's all one by one. Um, trying to map it all out in my head. I feel like it can't be that hard, right? Uh, here's the issue. If I go here, I can't double back. 
I guess I never fully explained that, just kind of intuitively got it. Some people may not have realized. You can't double back. Well, the upper right, you can't both enter and leave. Yeah, if I'm ending in the top right, wouldn't that then mean I start in the top left or bottom right? But it just feels like I'm always gonna leave something uncovered. Like, what do I do about this piece? Can't... Oh, I can walk here. Not only can I walk here, I can walk here several times. Oh, well, that changes quite a bit, actually. Okay, okay. That's what I was missing. I'm like, this puzzle does not seem possible, but you can have both types of panel on the same grid. Very important insight. Figure out spots where you get trapped and then don't make them. Okay, well, there's a trapping here at the end, so that's obviously an ending point. So I probably start like this and then go around this way, because then I have space to double back through here and then make it on over. Nice. Ooh, 13 rollback puzzles. Do I get a Mirabilis? Maybe not? I was definitely looking forward to the Mirabussy, but the reward is more puzzles is good enough for me. I think I just need to get rid of the middle then go around the edge. Yeah, I'm like, the edge looks like a ton of dead ends, but I could do it in one loop. I just need to solve the middle first. It's funny, I'm solving them and then explaining how I solved them because it's just, that's how it's going right now. What is this big block? Oh, it's multiple blocks. Okay, it's three blocks. Do I actually need to go on all spaces in order to win here? I think the real challenge is actually figuring out this one piece. Like I need to almost carve out a path that keeps the one piece able to go through. Like I can do all this. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Maybe the one piece can almost just hug the edge and kind of come around. And maybe once I actually finish this path, the solution will be revealed. Well, some of it will be. I think all of it will be actually. Yeah, okay, cool. You, almost, you do have to switch through it. It just makes it easier. I don't know if you had to cover everything to solve that, but that's definitely the easiest solution. Oh, these orbs. This is like a platforming challenge. There's like five orbs and you have to touch all of them as fast as possible. So I see three, four. Where's the fifth one? There's the fifth one. I could start here, run this way, jump up, um, and then run through here, then there. Do a big loop or maybe go down, work with gravity. I got to get six seconds. I'm going to try clockwise. Here we go. Yes, let's go. Good route. All right, how about this puzzle? Two blocks. Again, I got to get the one block kind of around the outside. So make sure I leave space for that. This is leaving a plenty of space. So far, so good. I don't know. This looks pretty clean, actually, for the two block. Let's see how easy it is for the one block. There's just going to be a little bit of trickiness two-thirds of the way through. But even that's actually not that bad. Perfect. Dude, actually, this type of puzzle is sick. I was actually really looking forward to logic puzzles, but this has captured my heart. These puzzles inspire no joy, though. I I'm going to tell it to you straight. I'm not a Sentinel Stone fan. Basically, you just got to stand at a spot that lets you see all the pillars. I do like that they're outlined in red now. That's uh, better for visual communication. Find a spot. Connect to the stones. I'm missing one back here. There we go. Oh, a Mirabilis. Yes, here it is. I have awakened the rolling block and painted rolling block. So both variants. That's the baseline for completing the area, but I kind of want to get mastery. Oh, oh. Painted rolling block with four of them. The only goal is painting. Okay, so this right side one is kind of interesting, right? Like, I can't do... Well, I, I can do this if I want. Here, this block has to start like that and probably end here. So then the other two blocks are going to be the real meat. Or maybe just this block will be the meat? Because actually, it seems like this can do pretty much all the work. And then the top one can just do a little bit to clean up. There's a lot of space still, like, uncovered in this land. Whoa, oh, big blocks. Huge blocks. Look at this. Two by two by two, huh? Interesting. So I feel like this is actually a puzzle of getting the blocks out of the way so you can actually solve them, right? Because only this one can go back here. Where does this one go? The only this one can go here. Yeah, because it's two by two, they have a specific parity, which only lets one block go to each solution. And you have to let them go in the right order to not get in the way of each other. I explained that. 
Mmm, that takes me back home. I'm not ready for that. I must solve more puzzles first. Why does this level remind me of, like, Steven's sausage roll? Something just feels sausagey about it. Uh, no matter, I think I've got it. Just gotta roll past and then stand him up. There we go. Yeah, I don't want to get out of here yet. There's actually so much I haven't explored. This whole side of the island! What the hell? This is a really constrained puzzle. Like, I'm forced to do something like this to begin with. Just to let myself, like, rearrange. There we go. Oof. Ooh, I level up. My puzzle prowess grows. Give me that. Oh, those are moving rings. Sometimes you have to be patient. This is... Oh, actually, sometimes it's more than five dots. Yeah, how many is this? Nine? What's the best route? Probably starting from the top, yeah? Well, but this gets in the way. Is this... Oh my god, there's more! <laughs> this island is huge! So because this funny thing is in the way, I can't do both on top to begin with. I probably should still start up here. Let me try seven and a half. Let me try this route. Just run here, run here, and then do a little zigzagging. Zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Oh, this is way too slow. Unless... No! I got a silver. It didn't look like I was on path to gold. I mean, if I could do both of the top ones first, I would still have to zigzag, so I don't know. How about a uh, route more like this, then? You go there, and then back, and you can run through the rings. Get this, then back down. Come on. It was faster, but not enough. But yeah, jumping up does slow me down, unfortunately. Oh, if I fly, I can go past this. Hold on. Or jump. If I jump, I can go over that. Okay, that changes a little. Let's see. Oh, even just jumping once will do it. All right, just doing a spiral right now. Oh, that's the route. Okay, love it. Anyways, there's some big armillary rings. These are huge, actually. Do I have to get it from above? Or maybe I have to wait for this tiny one to spin around and set up an angle like this. Wait, no. No. Oh, it's not tiny. It's just far away. There we go. How about you? Oh! The weird rectangular prism. Oh, this has a lot of rotations. Um, I don't even know how I'd begin this. Like, I feel like I gotta use all the space somehow. Okay, I, I've just been going on intuition, and I think, like, uh, the way I'm thinking right now is I want to use as much of the space as possible. And that solves the puzzle. <laughs> I'm like, this stuff must be there for a reason, so if I can just go to a new area, I'm probably progressing. Progressing? Yeah, they're both words. Oh, come on. I have this. Come... What? Oh, I just pinged. No, stop pinging. No! That's not what I'm trying to do. There we go. The zoom in. Uh... <laughs> Okay, I've pinged <laughs> a little too much. It's easier to undo on the map. How about this? So I can only enter the right side once. Wait, that means I can't come back. Hold on. What if I do this? That still... Wait, that still activates it then. It's not possible for me to skip over it, yeah? What is the point of the right side of the puzzle then? Huh? No, I have to hit those? Oh, I get how I could get past there. I'm like, I could just go align myself like this and then just kind of go on top and then come back out through bottom. All right, sneaky. How do I do that? Well, this could work. Yeah, I could go this way. And then I could roll through like this. Aha, aha, aha. And now I just got to solve the puzzle in whichever way I choose, which I'm sure I will get eventually. Like that. There we go. Now, I did not do all the puzzles back here, like this one. So right from the get-go, I wonder if going down immediately is wrong. It actually does appear to be so. Like, it feels like I almost want to maybe start with one a different parody. I just need to come down and touch this, then leave. Then I can shift myself a little. Eh, let's shift myself down here. And then roll back. Come on up. Oh, perfect. No more fiddling needed. There are eight more puzzles on this island. Uh, well, I haven't gone to the top one since before. I've not been up here in a while. 
I guess not since looking. An island within an island. What about this? Okay, we got a long boy. That goes up top. Okay, so they must swap with each other. Meaning that whenever this passes over the painted blocks, I've got to be very careful as to only go over some of them. Like this, I guess. If I want, I could, like, get you out of the way and then kind of... Well, hold on. Actually, let's back that up. Back that up. Let me move over like this, possibly. Now get you out of the way. Because I can go, like, here. And does this actually let me solve the top? Right now, maybe. Right now, yes? Okay, good. Because I can easily just go like this at the bottom and win. Nice. Oh, my big cube. <laughs> what the hell? Bro, a five by five by five. Okay, revealing, uh, in fact, that this is a path. Okay, hold on. Let's uh, maybe do this first. Yeah, this three by three needs to get to the one block without hitting any of the others. Uh, this is this is comical. Just a second. I need the right orientation. It would look kind of like that. There we go. Bring that. No, maybe not. Wrong orientation. Unless, unless there's more to it. All right, well, that works. I can roll you over and then solve you. That is so funny. What a ridiculous puzzle. All right, another Mir Mirabilis. Speedrunning challenge. 13 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Well, doesn't look too hard. It's just a matter of endurance. Just gotta cut the corners. Kind of sprint through it! Oh, that was close. Nice. Is there anything on top of this? A rings. Yes, there is. Let's see. Is it meant to be solved up here, though, is the question. I think so, yes. Yes, it is. Let's go. Okay, I also saw it connected to this spot. Okay, this has more... Uh, dark rings and gold rings, it would seem. I feel like I'm meant to view this from, like, the top or something. I think I can jump and hit it. Yes, I can! Ooh. Oh, another Mirabilis. What do the Mirabilises do? Uh, that's a great question. Oh, this actually might be the last of the last. The Hidden Relics. Some cool hide-and-seek to cap this off while I found you. Uh, the sphere does not go that high. They're probably all on ground level. Now, ground level actually goes pretty far. Circle the edges. Yeah, I think a good strat is just circling the edges, because sometimes the edges do something sneaky. And you want to be there when that happens. Found you. Found you. Found you. Nice, the last of the Mirabili. Oh, there's still one puzzle somewhere. Probably a rolling block puzzle. The real hide and seek begins now. Is it this? Is it this tiny one? I think so. Oh, very tiny one. Uh, I feel like there's something really sneaky here. The sneaky thing is I'm sure I can walk over gold twice. And that's the one catch of the puzzle. Okay, 100% complete. This is a big island. So what's crazy is that this was one challenge out of like a dozen in a single area, and then there's all these areas, plus all these side challenges, plus the random mob spawns. There's so much to this game. I know for a fact I'm gonna live stream the crap out of this. The first live stream will be tomorrow at 3 p.m. US Eastern time, both here and at twitch.tv slash aliensrock simultaneously. Just pick your poison. This is gonna be so much fun. I cannot wait. The game is out on Steam, so check it out. Link in the description and pin comment. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.